Good morning, everybody. Sean here. Uh, welcome to another PSD to CSS online uh, video tutorial. Uh, today, we're going to look at how you make forms. It's a new uh, feature this morning. How you make forms by just naming your layers in your PSD file, and uh, and how you center your whole page um, as well by just naming uh, the layers. So let's get started. Here we have a uh, a fairly uh, simple uh, PSD file. Um, it uh, is a simple little form. <coughs> as uh, as always with PSD to CSS online, the uh, the trick is in how you name your layers. Uh, PSD to CSS online reads the name of the layers in your PSD file, and uh, and does the appropriate thing based on uh, some special layer names. Um, if there's nothing special about the name, it just puts the art into your into the right position in uh, in your uh, resulting uh, CSS file. Um, but uh, whoop, there's ABG. So uh, let's see. Let's look a little more closely at some of these layers. Um, the first one for making our form is uh, this one here, uh, B center layer. Uh, I'm sorry, B center form. Um, we'll zoom in here a little bit. You can see that it's uh, got an underscore center in the name, and it has an underscore form in the name. The center part will make the the whole thing center in the web page. The underscore form part means that everything inside this layer, everything that fits inside this layer, all these other layers you'll see they, they're smaller and fit within the bounds of this layer, um, that this is all a, a form that gets generated. Um, and I'll show you how that all happens. Um, we have uh, a clear link, which is just this part right here. We have uh, a, or one of our rollover buttons for the submit button. You can see we've got the submit link over layer here, and the submit link layer there. Um, and then we have the new uh, input text layers. See name and password here are underscore input text named, and uh, they are where you'd expect them. So that's pretty much it. That's our PSD file. Uh, all of these layers uh, are smaller and fit inside of this one. That's important for both the underscore center feature and the underscore form feature. If uh, if any of them stuck out of the edge, then uh, they wouldn't make it inside the form and they wouldn't center with the rest of the page. But uh, since this is the big background and all these other layers, <coughs> excuse me, all these other layers uh, fit inside, uh, that's what makes it work. So I've already saved this out, and here we are at the front page of PSD to CSS Online. And just as always, we will just browse to the front to my uh, desktop, grab form.psd, and we will upload the file. And as usual, it takes a little while. It's not a very big file, form.psd. It's kind of small, so it uploads quickly, processes quickly, and there we go. It's all finished. If we'd like to see it, we can just click on there, and sure enough, there is our, there's our web page. Uh, and we can see, you can see that it's centered too. Let's see. Well, can I show you that very easily? Yep. See, it's all centered. Automatically centers. And and you can see that this is a submit button, and it's submitting to the same page. By default, it submits to the same page that the form is on. So, uh, so this is an index.html file, and I don't have any other kind of scripting in there. Um, but it's it's submitting to this to this page. Um, the, what we'll do to what I'll do to show you how to use this then is uh, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, PHP script to one of these. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to where I was. There we go. I've got an example of it in our uh, in our right here. If you click on forms, it'll take you to uh, the instructions. Here's all the written version of what I'm telling you now. But uh, <clears throat> but the trick is here to uh, to to make this useful. This form. Uh, all I had to do was. Uh, um, I renamed the uh, index file to index.php, and I added this little bit of uh, PHP code right here. Um, I, if you know anything about PHP, it's uh, I just checked to see if uh, the submitted uh, form element exists, and if it does, I print out everything in the post. I print out everything that's in the form. Um, this isn't obviously very advanced, but uh, uh, but it does check to see if the form's been submitted, and it and it prints it. So uh, I have an example with just those modifications, just renaming the file and adding this little bit of code uh, with my text editor right here. And as you can see, it looks the same. 
but I can put my I can put stuff in here now, Sean, and uh, shh, don't tell anybody what my password is. And if I submit it, uh, we get that little bit of PHP code does that proves that uh, that we're handling our form. Here's the the name that I typed in and the password and uh, the fact that it was submitted. Um, we can clear the form. I can submit with with nothing in the form, and sure enough, there's nothing in name or password. We put any kind of garbage we want in there, and uh, garbage in and garbage out. So there you go. By just uh, drawing your form with Photoshop, naming your layers correctly, and using uh, PSD to ES PSD to CSS Online, uh, you get you get forms that work, and it's pretty straightforward. And centering, uh, naming your layer correctly for centering gets you centering as well. So uh, there's another tutorial. I hope you have fun. If you have any questions, uh, send me some email. And uh, and if you make something really great, please put it in our, our user gallery. Um, we have a spot here for anybody to put uh, put whatever they'd like. And uh, some of these are really great. So. Um, Please feel free to do that and uh, have fun. Thanks.